this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and today I am going to teach you about turnarounds. Firstly, I'm going to show you what a turnaround is and then I'm going to teach you how to play three different turnarounds. So for this lesson you will need a C harmonica played in second position in the key of G. So what is a turnaround? Well, a turnaround is the bit at the end of the 12 bar blues and other blues forms that tells you that you're about to start the chord sequence again. So the turn turnaround happens in the last couple of bars or the last bar of the 12 bar sequence. So after you've gone from the five chord to the four chord, you're then gonna come to a turnaround. So if I play those last four bars, you'll hear what I mean. So five chord, one, two, three, four. <laughs> So that is really the important bit. What that tells you is it tells you that it's not over. We've not ended the, bl the blues tune. Uh, we're about to go back to the beginning of the 12 bar sequence. Okay, so that is what a turnaround is. Not all 12 bar blues have turnarounds, but a lot of them do. So it's, it's, really good, it's a really good idea to have a couple in your trick bag uh, so that you can just pull them out. It's not one of those things that you really want to think too much about improvising, learn a few, and that will go a really long way. Then maybe further down the line, you can start improvising a little bit with it, but you don't need to go too crazy. So your first turnaround lick is gonna sound like this. A one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so quite simple. We're starting with uh, two, two draws, they're eighth notes on beat one of bar 11. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. And then we have a three beat rest. So because you have two of the same note, one after the other, you need to articulate them. So you, you aren't trying to repeat them by breathing inwards twice. You're going to have one breath and you're just going to say two, two. And then you have your three beat rest. So let's just try that first half. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then the second half of the, of the turnaround lick sounds like this. So that is a sequence of four eighth notes. We have got two draw, two blow, one draw, one draw. And that's starting on beat one of bar 12, of your 12 bar blues. So let's try that second half. One, two, three, four. Okay, so two draw, two blow, one draw, one draw, because you've got those two one draws, one after another, you are going to articulate them much the same way that you did the two draws at the beginning of the lick. So let's try playing that whole lick together nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, a little bit faster. So if you're not ready to play it faster, just pause the video, spend a bit of time practicing it, and then let's try it a little bit faster. A one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, right, that's your first turnaround lick. If you wanna spend some time on it, pause the video. Otherwise, let's move on to your second turnaround lick which is actually a Sonny Boy Williamson turnaround uh, from his tune, Too Young to Die. So it's gonna sound like this. A one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're starting on beat one of bar 11. So we've got two draw, three draw half step bend, four blow, four blow. Those are all quarter notes. Okay, and then on beat one of bar 12, we're gonna play another two draw, quarter note, and then two one draws, starting on beat two, eighth note. So that, that one draw, you're gonna notice, is a pretty crucial element of the turnaround, because that's the root note of the five chord. So that's what we tend to hit at the turnaround, because the band will be hitting a five chord, and you're gonna be hitting the root note of the five chord. So that's why it sounds like it's uh, going back to the beginning rather than ending, because the five chord says back to the beginning, okay? So that whole lick, 
I'll just play it one more time and then we'll do it together. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try that together nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. And a little bit faster. A one, two, three, four. All right. So pause the video if you want to spend some time practicing that. And then when you're ready, let's move on to your next lick, lick number three. Okay, so lick three uh, is Just Your Fool by the Rolling Stones, and it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so we have a sequence of triplets to start with, starting on beat two of bar 11. So our first triplet is two draw, two draw, whole step, bend, two draw. So you're slurring that one note, that two whole draw into a bend and back up into the clean note with a triplet rhythm. And then on the next beat, you're gonna do the same thing, but on a one whole. So you're gonna do one draw, one draw, half step, bend, one draw. Okay. Then on the next beat, we have two eighth notes. And this one's a little bit weird. We're gonna play the two draw half step bend and then a one draw on the off bit beat. Okay. And then a two draw on beat one in the next bar. And then a two draw whole step bend on beat two, one draw on the off beat. Okay, so that's. Okay, so let's try that together nice and slowly. Remember, we're starting on beat two. One, two, three, four, one. A little bit faster. One, two, three, four, one. All right, so with all of these licks, if you need to spend any more time working on them, don't worry about it. Just pause the video work through it at your own speed, gradually build up the speed. And then what are you going to do with these licks once you've learned them? Well, you're going to start practicing using them in your 12 bar blues solos. So if you take a 12 bar blues solo, improvise for the first 10 bars, and then in the last two bars, throw one of these turnarounds in and just do that for a few weeks until it becomes part of your trick bag and then do it with another one of the turnarounds. And bit by bit, you'll have these ideas that can just come to you without having to think about it. And that's the most important thing when you're improvising. It's repeating things so much that you don't need to think about it. Really, really essential. So we've learned what turnarounds are. It's probably quite a good idea to have a really quick chat about endings because there isn't really a massive amount of difference between a turnaround and an ending, apart from what note you finish it on. So I was talking a little bit about how the turnaround ends on the root note of the five chord, the one draw. So if you end on a five chord, it doesn't feel like an ending because it's not the one chord. But if you ended on a one chord, it would feel like an ending. So what you can do is you can play these turnarounds and land on a two draw instead of a one draw and it will feel finished. So let's try that with Too Young to Die. A one, two, three, four. Or with Just Your Fool. A one, two, three, four, one. It feels finished as against a turnaround. So that's the difference between a turnaround and an ending. So remember that you can use these turnarounds to finish songs as well. Okay, so if you want to download the tab for this, as well as get access to the audio clips of me playing through each of these uh, turnarounds nice and slowly, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below. But before you whiz off and do that, I just have one really quick thing to request of you, if you would be so kind. If you could give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below, that would be awesome. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so because I put out a new harmonica lesson every single Wednesday and I wouldn't want you to miss out on next week's. Thank you very much.